Faculty of Environment, Ecology Lab staff will demonstrate how to determine phosphate levels in your water sample using a standard method known as the ascorbic acid method. Note this is a time sensitive test that needs to be completed within 48 hours of obtaining your water sample. On the bench top, you will see the spectrophotometer where we select our method, the cuvettes and labeled rubber stoppers, chemical reagents, these are powder pillows along with a pair of scissors, a pipette and appropriate volume tips, Wattman filter paper, grade one to filter our sample, a funnel and flask to hold our filtered sample. There is a timer on the spectrophotometer, but having a stopwatch on the bench top is nice, along with lint-free Kim wipes. As well, note the PPE, gloves, safety glasses, hair tie, mask, and a lab coat. The first step is to filter your water sample. Fold the filter paper in half, then in half again, placing into the funnel, Put the funnel on the graduated cylinder. Filter until you have about 30 milliliters of your water sample. It's always ideal to filter more than you need just in case dilution needs to happen or if there's a spill. Turn on the spectrophotometer, select stored programs, and choose program number 490, the P reactive PV and allow to warm up. Using a 10 milliliter pipette, add 10 milliliters of the filtered water sample into two of the square cuvettes. One will be your sample and one cuvette will be your blank. Make sure your stoppers are labeled. Next, add one pillow of the, of the phosphor three phosphate powder pillow into one cuvette. This will be your sample cuvette. Put the stopper on your sample cuvette and shake vigorously for 30 seconds. Let your sample sit for two minutes. In the meantime, declutter your work area in order to operate safely and avoid spills. After two minutes, use a Kim wipe to wipe your blank cuvette by holding the lip of the cuvette. Insert into the cell holder and place the light shield. Press zero to zero the instrument. Take the blank cuvette out of the spectrophotometer and using a Kim wipe, wipe your sample cuvette. You will need to measure this sample within 15 minutes, otherwise overprocessing will occur and you will not receive accurate results. Insert the sample cuvette into the cell holder, cover with a light shield and press read. The value displayed will be milligrams per liter of reactive phosphate. The reading is 0.88 milligrams per liter. You can multiply this result by 0.326 to obtain milligrams per liter of phosphorus. We never pour the contents down the sink as this is hazardous waste. We use labeled amber jars to dispose of all of our contents. Be sure to rinse the glassware as well.